Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blongo.com and in this video we're going to do a quick overview of Soho Meetings. With this app you're going to be able to schedule video calls and audio calls with people inside and outside your organization as well as launch webinars. All right, let's get started. This is the home screen, so let's jump right into it and create a new meeting. We're going to hover over the Meet Now button and then choose Video Conferencing. And the meeting has started. You can send this link to the other participants so they can join the meeting. And in this window, you can select your devices to make sure your camera and microphone are working. And here we have our video, but we're going to turn it off for now. When someone tries to join the meeting, you will see a message that will allow you to let them in. Now let's see the settings available. This is the meetings menu that you can move around if you need to. It will hide automatically as well. Then we have the turn on or off video button and next to it, the mute audio button. With this button, we can share a screen and it works similar to other video call apps. Just select the screen or window you want to share and then click on the share button. We're gonna cancel for now. With this button, you can open the participants panel where you will find all the participants and you can rename them, mute them and even remove them from the meeting. And you can use the filters if your meeting has a lot of participants. Then we have the chat where the participants can send messages. This is helpful if you're doing a webinar and don't want anyone else to be talking during the meeting. The reactions button allows you to react to the meeting and you can raise your hand as well if you have a question. The next button is the more button that has a lot of features and we will review them quickly. Preferences has a lot of options that we're not going to review in detail, but you can select if you want to play sounds, how to handle internet issues and more. Change layout allows you to change the layout of the meeting. In audio video settings, you're gonna find your settings. So if you're having issues, just go to devices and you're gonna be able to change your camera or microphone. Invite participants allow you to find the information about the meeting, like the meeting link or phone number. Network performance allows you to see how good is your internet connection. Picture in picture allows you to see the meeting while you're browsing in other tabs. Virtual background allows you to change your background in case you don't want to show your actual background. Enter full screen opens the meeting in full screen. With start recording, you can start recording the meeting. With this button, you can lock the meeting so no one else can join. And finally, we have meeting notes, which is one of the integrations available for Soho meetings. You can start typing a note and it will be saved in your Zoho Notes app so you can review the notes later. To leave the meeting, just click on the exit button and then on leave. If you are the host, you will end the meeting for everyone. All right, now let's close this tab and go back to the home screen. If you want to schedule a meeting, you can use this button. Just add the details and the meeting will be added to your calendar. You can also schedule the meeting from your Zoho calendar. Just create the event and then click on add conference and choose Zoho meeting. Let's go back to Soho Meetings. I'm gonna cancel this. And now we are on the Meetings tab where you will find all your upcoming meetings as well as the past meetings. Same for webinars, but I haven't scheduled any webinars yet. In Recordings, you will find all the meetings that you have recorded. Finally, we have the Settings. In this first tab called My Settings, we can find some general options like time zone, calendar integration, and specific meetings and webinar settings like how to record a session and more. In Manage Organization, you can change your logo as well as find more settings about meetings and webinars. You can also set up your custom domain here. In User Management, you will be able to add, edit, and remove users. In Departments, you will be able to create departments and add users to them. In emails, you can set up company email addresses, so you can send notifications from a custom email instead of the default Zoho meeting email. In integrations, you can set up the integrations with Zoho CRM and Zoho campaigns. This way, you can see upcoming meetings with your contacts from the CRM, as well as send email campaigns to your webinar contacts using Zoho campaigns. You can also see integrations with other Zoho products, as well as with some office suites. But there are other integrations available not listed here. If you use Zoho Mail, you can create meetings from your inbox with this side panel. And if you open an email, the meeting information will be auto-populated based on the email info. Zoho Bookings also integrates with meeting. When someone schedules an appointment with you, you can auto-generate the meeting link, so the link will be sent to you and the other person as well. The last tab in the settings is Security, where you can find some privacy settings as well as an audit log. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please click the like button. 
Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Zoho Meetings is part of the Zoho One Suite. So if you would like to check out Zoho One, I will leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching.